when you when you depend so much on foreign investment and you don't build your ecosystem you know on local investment or, or put money to get locally then you have no leverage As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. Welcome to the HN Blog. You know, as I've been working on raising capital for the last what, four years now. It's, it's very interesting how most of the funding, uh, you know, come from overseas. And there's no problem. I mean, most, most, I don't know any countries that don't get foreign invested, that plug in money and, uh, you know, invest for a return, whatever that case that is for different projects. I mean, that's normal. That's not the problem. A lot of investment fund to invest in local enterprise and all, um, come from overseas, come from outside the continent. So what's that mean? That means we have no leverage as African entrepreneur. I want to clarify, because I know this vlog, like most of my vlog, I always get people riled up about, man, uh, so what you're saying? We shouldn't get money from outside. We need international investors. I totally agree. Well, we don't need, but we we should have investment. We shouldn't limit investment coming from abroad. Um, but what people don't understand is that that money, you know, is going back. So I'm looking on the micro level, I'm not looking on an individual level. I don't care where the money comes from as an entrepreneur. I really don't. 100% of the money we raise come from overseas. 100, one, zero, zero. We raise zero money locally, and when I mean locally, on the African continent, from African investors, nothing. You know, most of our money come from Europe or the States. I have no problem with that. The point is looking on the micro level, looking on, on the micro level, right? When you, when you depend so much on foreign investment and you don't build your ecosystem, you know, on local investment or put money to get locally, then you have no leverage. You have zero leverage. Now, I'm not saying there's zero money um, in Africa. There is money. There's plenty of money. The problem is that money is allocated in different sectors, but not in uh, innovation sector. And when I talk about money, I'm talking about grants for research and development. I'm talking about seed funding. You know, I'm talking about early, early stage funding. We don't have that on the continent. So we have no leverage as African entrepreneurs. And what, what do I mean by we have no leverage? Well, it's very simple. You know, we are dependent. If you have no leverage, it means it's very, it's, 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 it's more difficult for an African entrepreneur to develop uh, African technology. If you're dependent on foreign money, that money most likely will be allocated in much bigger project or in companies that, you know, come from the similar country where they're from. For Africa to grow, for Africa to expand, we need to own our technology. One of the best countries I admire as far as innovation is Israel. They really, really have changed the game. Small country, small population and they export their technology like crazy. They have more unicorn companies in different sectors. They dominate security, you know, software security. They dominate the agricultural sector. Water, uh, now they produce more clean water than anything else in a the desert. They grow food in a desert. To export a technology, you have to develop it. To develop that technology, um, you have to have some, some startups getting into these different fields and money fuel those things. And foreign money is not there to help Africa develop the technology. So they're focusing on big projects, et cetera, et cetera. It's very difficult 
for, for foreign money to invest in, in, in startups. And even those, those, uh, those funding that exist, that are co-funded by foreign investment, they have their own agenda. But we need to control our own funds so we can have leverage. And the leverage, again, is to focus on African startup that focus on African innovation so we can scale up that space so we can export our technology and not necessarily export outside the continent. We have so much need within the continent um, that, you know, the market alone within Africa is huge enough. But no, no, we still, depend on foreign money to bring investment in and hoping that those investments will trickle down to some startups so they can you know, flourish. It doesn't work like this. China to me also is one of the roadmap that we should mimic or, or learn from. It's not exactly the same framework as, as the continent of Africa, but when you look at innovation, 30 years later, China, China is about to start building their own plane, commercial plane. They slowly have acquired the knowledge, the technology, and what kills me, it really does. What kills me is that Africa is being built by China, Chinese money, Chinese technology, and, and, and most likely, Chinese uh, uh, upper management and definitely Chinese companies. And I've said it before, if I'm giving you money, let's say I'm China, and you, my friend, you're Africa. I come to you and I say, listen, what do you need? Oh, you need uh, to build a railroad? No problem, let me give you a loan, right? But on that loan, you have to use one of our companies. And companies, know-how, management, yeah, we'll, we'll do some knowledge transfer on maintenance. But, uh, you know, for the train and all those things, you're gonna need us. So I'm giving you a million dollars. 70, 80% of that money come back to you. But you still have to pay back that million dollars, whatever interest, even if I give you 0.1%. That's still a loss. And this is what we are in in Africa. I see so many innovations dead in the water because there's no money flowing to them. We should be able to gather ourselves. Government should be able to put funds together. Private sector should be able to put funds together. You cannot tell me with a one point plus billion people, you know, and with a middle class we have, we can't put and collect and get money together. But I'm gonna tell you what the problem. We don't even trust each other. And that's a, that's a story for another vlog. You know, we got that self-hate going on in Africa. Is foreign money good for us? Yeah, maybe, but it's not enough. We're not gonna make it, and I'll repeat, we're not gonna make it as a continent if we don't step up our game. Hello, everybody. First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So, share the books, if you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.